showing us. I got something Speaking for you Speaking of guys. checking. All right, <laughs> checking. Let's check our news feed. Oh, my gosh. What is going on? <laughs> Tesla is now claiming 3X improved thermal endurance in the Model S and X performance what? update. When was this? Yeah. So... Tesla just re- just put out a new uh, acceleration boost for the Model S performance, getting the, the zero to sixty from two point four to two point three. Let's <laughs> have a party, insane. guys. <laughs> Let's. <laughs> um, That's insane. And and one of the deals was that apparently it's going to um, improve a three x improvement in the thermal endurance, meaning you can kind of do more launches consistently and get better speeds um so the release says that with our latest over-the-air software update to model s performance we improved zero to 60 acceleration to 2.3 seconds and quarter mile time to 10.4 so there you go going back to that. there you go yeah oh my um, gosh yeah it, so uh for go for more sedan. back-to-back runs with improved thermal endurance and activated launch mode with a press of the pedals which hallelujah because launch mode previously was like a you know solving a rubik's cube <laughs> um, now they have this thing called cheetah stance where it lowers the front axle and adjusts damping before uh, entry and better traction. So you can actually go see this at my buddy Brooks from Drag Times did a video showing it off. It's really cool. Um, and you automatically receive the update, et cetera, et cetera, based on that. And I saw Marquez got it. So wow. cool. You know, updates are going out, faster stuff. The thermal performance is the kind of cool one, though, because that's been sort of the a, a, a big uh, – I don't know, weak spot, I guess, in, in the Model S performance specifically. If you guys remember to the very early Model S's, they were putting on the track and they would overheat. Like oh, it would yeah. actually oh, yeah. break the seals because it wasn't made mm-hmm. to go that like super fast, super, like, you know, on a, on a racetrack, you're going hard acceleration, hard braking, hard acceleration, hard braking, just like n- nonstop, uh, which is why I don't like it. But <laughs> that the car wasn't made for that. Now apparently it's getting better and... All kinds wow. of good things come into people that can afford a hundred and twenty thousand dollar car. <laughs> As good That's things awesome, should though. come to them. But I mean, when's the last time a five hundred thousand dollar supercar that you drive, you know, five times a year? When's the last time it got a point one second faster over the air? You know, for free. Never. Yeah, I was gonna say you could go get it tuned or something. But. Yep. Hey, thanks for checking us out, guys. I hope you enjoyed this clip from our podcast. We do a weekly show here on YouTube, so make sure to subscribe to Our Ludicrous Future, where we discuss all the things that are going to make our future totally ludicrous. You can join us here on YouTube or at any of your favorite podcast places. Plus, if you want to get some behind-the-scenes stuff and join a cool community, you can help support the channel at patreon.com. Thanks a lot. Thanks, guys.